Hello, 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 this is HAT500 slash TalentedTrack98 slash Heloise Wonderoy slash Hilo, and here's a video. Here it is, the Antitix video. I have watched so many Antitix videos over the years, and I've always wanted to do one, um, but, you know, I never really got, like, super into the whole YouTube game, and there's a lot to uh, go over when it comes to these Antitix videos, so I'm going to try and do my best. I'm going to try and cover all the Ellie's, but... Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, don't roast me too hard because there's some stuff that I don't, you know, know as well when it comes to other Ellie's. Um, so, but I'm going to try and do my best based on what I've seen, what I've seen people using and what people are still using. Um, one thing I will say for this ticket is this ticket is very, very, very important. It's, it can be an incredible boon, um, for your account. Um, that being said, I know that there are new grands on this, um, but I'm not going to be going over grands in this video. Um, I feel like grands, because you can get grands every month, um, technically, it's not really worth using your anti-ticks on it, to be honest. Um, and you can always just roll them randomly, um, on a gala. So yeah, it, it, in my opinion, it's not really worth getting them. The only time I can think that you would ever do that is if you were trying to get like, like a dupe or something. But if you're doing that, you're probably, you probably don't need my video to tell you what to do. You probably already have planned something out and you know what you need to do. Right. So, um, and you know, you know that you don't need any seasonals. So I'm only going to really be looking at, at seasonals in this video. Um, I'm going to go through summons and characters, um, and I'm going to try and make it relatively easy. Um, since this is my first video for an Antitix, I don't really have like any background on it, so I can't really say like, well, these are the new characters from last year, and I talked about these other ones last year, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much just going to go through, and if a character has like no relevancy that I've seen recently, I'm just going to tell you they have no relevancy, <laughs> and we're just going to move on. Like, we're not going to sit here and talk about every character just because. Obviously, if you really, really, really like a character and you don't care about meta or anything, then get that character. Um, but I'm mostly going to be talking about, like, meta picks and stuff that I've still seen used, right? So... Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, we're gonna start with we're gonna start with fire. Um, as you can see, I have the filters here. It just has you know it just has all the uh, like the the holiday stuff, right? And we'll we'll go through each Ellie, and uh, I'll go through the summons afterwards. Also, uh, since we're here, the the weapons, all these are freaking garbage. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can skip out on all these. All the weapons are trash. Um, so yeah, don't. Don't worry about those. So we're only going to be looking at these and summons. Um, so first, Percival. This Percival's trash. Uh, skip. Vera. <laughs> Vera. So Vera is a decent pick. Um, Vera's main thing, and if you've watched the video that I just put out on the primals and stuff, you'll know that I just got Vera, but I've been gunning. Vera was actually my target this year um but then i got her so now i'm not sure who i'm gonna get now <laughs> but um vera's main thing from what i've seen obviously like i said i haven't been able to use her much but from what i've seen her two main things are cage of light which pretty much this is this makes it so that you know not only to charge diamonds they don't fill up but they can't use special attacks this can be good because this can lock down enemies so that they can't do things when you don't want them to um a perfect example is if you've seen any of my fall zero videos so far with olivia olivia's s1 works the same way only hers is two turns instead of one but olivia can allow you to do things such as at the start of fall zero you can use this move and then you can take an extra turn because he won't get a diamond fast enough before 95 to do his dispel or debuff trigger so you can completely ignore that trigger while still taking a turn which can be useful and the thing that's different about vera as opposed to olivia is vera's is reset on um Hers is reset on Ogi. Now, I'm not really sure what the accuracy is for this. And I can't, I can't really... I remember when she first came out. I remember people were kind of low-key chaining this. But I don't know how 
how many times you can just like spam this over and over and over again if you're oging right but it is the fact that it comes back when you ogi is pretty strong right the other big thing about vera is her s2 which pretty much makes her um like summer alexial um i do know that uh, my friend keiko that i've talked about uh, a few times on this channel for fire he has used this character um he's used this character for this in fall zero like i talked about but he's also used this character in hexa kind of how i used to use summer alexial in hexa where she can essentially come out you can have someone die going up to 15 percent have this character come out and use this and just tank all the triggers so that you don't actually have to deal with them you could just do damage and they just they just tank it right so vera can also do this um the rest of this i don't know if like obviously it plays into her kit but i think those are the two main things about her kit right obviously this this, this gives ca standby to the caster so i guess you can get this faster um yeah yeah and it also gives you a, a ca reactivation at the end of the turn so you can get this more and more so vera is good but i don't know vera is one of those characters that is nice to have she's nice to have but she's not really a necessity if you're a fire player in my opinion um she's just nice to have so if you if you're looking to to be like the ultra fire lord and you don't have her yet but you have the other high priority stuff then vera might be a good pick Okay, let's go back to the list. Um, Beatrix, uh, I really haven't seen Beatrix in a hot minute. I'm going to be real. Um, Altair, I've like never seen that character in my life. Um, Azazel, he got some changes, but I still don't think you really see him. I've actually seen Azazel's weapon more for like Super Ultimate Bahamut solos than I've seen for the character. But even that is probably whack. So, no, skip. Um, Kumbira has been power crept a lot <laughs> you don't really use this character anymore um honestly she's just she's okay she's okay if anything the main thing you would want to get kumbira for is this but even this weapon is kind of power crept this is essentially just world ender for fire um but even this weapon is like you may use it sometimes if you just want to mess around with some skill damage stuff but it, it's just not nah <laughs> nah kumbir is probably a pass nowadays too um okay the big one teaking noah noah a lot of people have been noah gated from fire in in fall noah is the high level character for fire right now um he's really good at helping you stay alive um and i'm glad that i've gotten some experience with noah now because i can actually talk about him so for one thing this this move is good because this will debuff for a fall um i've noticed with this this actually even though usually only two debuffs will hit he will actually like debuff three times um i don't know what it is i don't know if the resistance thing counts or what but in fall this usually counts for three whenever i use it so that's good for the debuff triggers um i probably should have started with this ogi his ogi is good because it removes one buff which is good for the spell triggers in fall right but not only does it remove one one buff here like it's a dispel here but later once once he gets the second version of his s2 his ogi he will always charge attack twice so he will always dispel twice so he can work just like how shalim does in earth where he can just ogi or or like cosmos where he can just ogi after this is done um after he gets his second s2 and he can dispel twice which is good for those dispel triggers because that's like one of your i mean i guess you can dispel with zeta too but this is like you're really good to spell um and until you get this buff one trick i found from talking to um uh not jim in one of the the fall zero discords i'm in um shout out to him um you can actually put michael the summon in your like like top instead of the bottom sub summons you can put her in the 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 usable sub summons um, and you can, before you get the second buff, you can use her to dispel once, and then you can Ogi with Noah, because it'll only be one Ogi at that point, and you can still avoid the Tessera trigger. Um, so that's still good for those triggers. Um, 
the big thing well one of the big things on this character though is this move um the first one is kind of whatever right but the second one when you get to use it a second time you get all of this permanently <laughs> for the rest of the fight which is super good for damage reduction and just healing and keeping your party alive like this is really really good on noah um and his ogies also go into this because you need to essentially come back to this you, you have to come back around to this move um so it's a 13 turn cooldown but once you start um ogying you can cut this down even more um which is is really good you can also do some quillen tech you've probably seen fire people doing like um friend summon quillen where they'll just quillen at the start like they'll use this move and then quillen at the start and then use it again so they can just get this right off the bat um that's another option you can do with noah but this move is like the move like this this move is like once you get this it's like you are pretty much buffed when it comes to defense like damage mitigation stuff like that it's really nice um this move also very good because this move once once pretty much pretty much noah's thing is he will once once um once uh uh what am i trying to think of once once he gets this once he gets this the second one all of his stuff um affects other allies which is only this move <laughs> right but this move gives you 100 percent charge bar and it gives you damage immunity for the entire turn it's not just one hit it's the entire turn so you can literally just tank like 99 mil 99 hits you can tank all that stuff with noah just walk on through it it's it's essentially you have him plus percival's s2 you can literally just ignore half the cheeking triggers <laughs> because they just don't do damage to you this can also be good too because because you can ogie a lot and then you can just use this move and you just get a hundred percent charge bar on everybody anyway so you can set up for like five charge attacks or six charge attacks with this character very easily with this move um noah is just really cheeky strong for high level fire right now um i feel like he's probably going to be your main pick if you do not have him and you're interested in playing fire um at like a higher level this is probably the character to pick honestly noah is very very strong very strong okay so let's move on from noah um again that's probably a lot of people's big pick for fire um eo not used don don donua not used tina not used um nemone nemone is like okay but nemone is like nemone is not a character that i would any ticks anymore uh, out of fire like like nemone is kind of like a tier below vera where it's like you would get like if you're a fire main and you just want to have everything available to you nemone is like okay but she's not like somebody that you really use anymore she just they're just better picks for full auto nowadays um silva ooh, sheesh <laughs> silva is something um pop gun is kind of dead we don't really do ogi fire a lot anymore or should i say we don't do predominantly ogi fire like we'll have characters that do ogies but it's not like everybody's just running kengo 24 7 for everything anymore on fire um so that weapon's kind of dead um silva silva silva's another one of those characters where it's like it's good to have her but she doesn't really see a ton of use especially if you have a lot of the higher other higher priority fire characters because one of one of silva's biggest things was uh which one is it um yeah this this where she gives double strike effect to the character after her right but this kind of fell off when not only did fire start getting more characters but we started using willness less because her and willness used to be like best friends where she would just buff the crap out of willness and he would double strike like crazy and do tons of damage but now we don't really use willness as much either so she's kind of fallen off um so silva is another character where it's like she's kind of like nemine tier well she's kind of a little bit above nemine it's like nemine silva vera right it's kind of like that going from bottom up where it's just like she's nice to have but i don't think you really use her nowadays be real um 
Okay, Inyo, Inyo is kind of whatever. Uh, she doesn't really do anything. I don't have the maids. I saw them like once when they came out. I don't think they're really worth it. Um, Scott, Scott the Hawk, uh, however you say her name. Um, she got like changes. I saw her like once and that's about it. Um, her weapon is not really used anymore. Izmir, <laughs> I saw like once. <laughs> <laughs> I saw like once for like some Ogie stuff. I don't think she's really used. Um, Neza, Neza is like, Neza's good. Neza's good. I would say he's above Vera. Um, Neza's good, but Neza's not like. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'd any tick Neza either. I'm gonna be real, unless I was just like a super fire lord, because there's just the issue is just fire. Fire has Zeta, Percival, who else? Well, I get, I'll get to Medusa soon, but Medusa, Satter, kind of Neza, I guess. Ragazzo, heck, even Michael. Hey, it's just like, he's good. He's good because, okay, so Neza, Neza... He has like this this thing that does like a ton of damage and he gets all these these buffs and stuff, right? But the main thing about Neza, honestly, is that he has this, this passive. Where depending on how many primal allies, he'll have guaranteed triples, and he'll also he'll also do this. Where he'll just activate his S1 on on just auto attacks, right? So he's he's a good auto attacker. He's a good auto attacker. He can also be used for Ogi stuff. I have seen Neza in stuff like Hexa and even Fall Zero as well. Um, I didn't know Umikin had used him at the start for Fall Zero. So he does see use. If you like Neza, look into him. Um, I, I've seen him with like uh, Neza and Medusa. I've, I've seen that comp in Fall Zero as well. Um, so you can use this character. But I just don't think he's like the best. Like, like essentially, if I was going to pick a character between like Neza or Noah for my Antitix and I was looking for a, a high level character, I would probably pick Noah. You see what I'm saying? Like he's good, but he's just not the best in my opinion. So it, it's just like, I would look into him based on where your fire is and see if you actually really want that character or not. Um, but he's okay. Um, Ilsa, no. <laughs> uh, hot, but no. Uh, Medusa. Now, nah, here we're talking Meduchan. Meduchan. Medusa is still one of the best full auto characters. This character is goaded. Okay, so Medusa. Medusa has a lot of stuff. So let, let's go through some of Medusa's stuff. One, um, how do I want to approach this? Okay, let's, let's start with this. Let's start with this. Her S1 she will depending on she has like this stack system and this 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 stack system depending on how many stacks she has she needs to not get hit to get the stacks but depending on how many stacks she has she'll get more buffs from this this is really good this is just a strong light and this is this is party wide and this shield is like 5k or something this is good like she's just helpful for defense right she also has this move where this is five hit um fire damage and it's a dispel the thing about it though is that this move this move down here once she is at five of her level this will activate at the end of turn so she always has a dispel and five hit damage at the end of turn so she does a ton of skill damage and she dispels every turn at the end which is really kicking nice there's a lot of times where medusa will also take out people's like for some reason a lot of wind enemies like to have like mirror image and they'll put mirror image and like another buff up right but medusa medusa her serpent strike will rip through the mirror image because it's damage and then she'll also dispel the other buff that's after the mirror image as well because the mirror image is already gone from the damage so she she kind of dispels twice which is kind of nice um but yeah this skill is just really good she also has this where she literally just makes it so the dudes can't cheeking attack they can't do anything um they're just cheeking stuck this is an upgrade kind of it's an upgrade above um you know like olivia and vera's that i talked about earlier where they just can't do anything during this uh the other one is just they can't um they can't use a move and they can't get charged on it this is just they can't cheeking move they don't do anything um they're stuck um and these these buffs are also our debuffs are also good um 
you know, double and triple attack down is always freaking good. Accuracy down is always good. Also plays into the fact that both of these, all of these kind of play into the fact that um, she wants to dodge. She wants to not get hit, right? So this makes it so that one turn she's automatically going to get a, buff, like a, a buff, right? Where she can't, um, where she's going to get a stack. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, double and triple attack down, less chances for them to hit her. Um, and accuracy down, less chances for t them to hit her. Um, also on her Ogi, she gets dodge all, which is also really nice. She also gives mirror image to everybody else. Um, uh, but she also gets dodge all, which combined with this can be like two turns of free stacks because you can, you can freeze them get Ogi the next turn, Ogi, and then they can't hit you because you dodge all. <laughs> so it's like you get two free turns to raise your stacks. She also has the same type of thing as Neza, where depending on how many primal allies are in the party, she gets buffs. Once you have three, which is pretty easy because you can use like her, um, Gabriel, and then just another primal ally, you can use like Satter or Neza. Um, she immediately gets guaranteed triples and guaranteed triples is god tier <laughs> so yeah just medusa is really freaking good um medusa like i mentioned in the neza section i did see her and neza being used in fa zero i can't really recall her being used in hexa too much um maybe a little bit in super ultimate bahamut but she's really good for like your just standard full auto stuff she's a really nice character and she's also just really good for like guild wars too because she's a very defensive character and she makes the boss not be able to do crap um so that you can full auto safer um so medusa meduchan is a good character she's a very she medusa would probably be my second pick for fire if I didn't have, or if I already had Noah, and I didn't have Medusa, Medusa would probably be my second pick. Uh, Medusa is very, very strong. Very good. Okay, so that's Medusa. Let's move on. Uh, Medusa's weapon also got used on some troll stuff for taking Guild War last time. I don't know if that's going to continue to be useful or not. Um, Mim Lamel used to be like premier, premier burst unit with um, Alanon, but now Alanon has kind of gapped her, be real, like, Alanon doesn't really need her anymore, <laughs> they don't really need each other, Alanon just kind of does it by himself, like, Alanon, Alanon, Zeta Percival, there's, like, not much room for this character, um, this character is probably, like, a good character just to have, just in case something came up that you could use her for, but, yeah, she's not, she's not very used anymore so i wouldn't really aim for her um let's see mirin 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 is kind of like silva like mirin and silva is kind of crazy because those characters i think came out around the same time and they were both really decent for the like kango charge attack meta that we had for like like a couple months in fire but now she's just drastically fall off like you just don't really use kengo like that anymore on on fire and she doesn't really get used in like the harder harder stuff because you have like noah zeta neza medusa um Z uh that's his zeta zeta percival um fra you you have like all these characters that you can use in high level stuff now she just doesn't really see use honestly um, her weapon can be kind of nice for um, healing cap, but it's not worth any ticks, I'm going to be real. Um, I have one of those. I actually got lucky and got a max one of these off of something, and I still have... I tried it. I tried it in Fall Zero, but it's just not, it's not worth it. Um, so, yeah, no. Um, Kane? Um, I've seen some Kane stuff. I saw a little bit of Kane stuff around Guild War. I think it's kind of trolled though, I'm be real. Um, the main thing about Kane is I think the dispel cancel effect to fire allies at battle start is like okay, um, depending on what you are going up against. But I think him as a character is kind of whack in fire's current pool. I will say though, his weapon, um, some people have been a big advocate for using this in Fall Zero as opposed to Higarashi. Um, I think that's kind of troll too. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's fine, but I think if you don't have Higarashi, it's probably better to just use a Percival Sword instead of anti-tixing this weapon. Um, I'm going to be real. So, yeah.
<laughs> so yeah, that's that's okay. So that, I, I think that's it for fire characters. Let's go look at the summons real quick. Um, all of these are trash. Don't do this. Do no, no. I know you guys want to do these primals. <laughs> no, do not use your anti ticks on this primal. Um, none of this. None of this. No, none of this. Um, none of this. The only thing. The only thing is Summer Belial and Cerberus, maybe. Um, I'll start with Cerberus because I think she's easier. Cerberus, I don't really think you need. I'm going to be real. Um, she's hot. She's very hot. But no. I I don't think you really need her. Like, like I, I, I made a Fire Guild War like wrap-up video. And I talked about how I had Summer Cerberus like, on standby. I have two copies of the summon that were just on standby. I was ready to stone them. And I just never... People used the summon. But I just never saw the absolute need to use the summon. I'm going to be real. Uh, for Fire Guild War. And I don't really see any other place where you really use her right now because you don't really need her for like even like proto Bahamut burst or anything because you just don't need her. You just don't need her. So she's just like okay. If you're a fire lord and you just don't have her and you just really want to go get fire stuff, maybe getting one copy just to have in case it's ever needed could be okay, but nah, nah. Um Summer Belial Summer Belial is weird because summer belial is good um summer belial honestly okay so the the thing about this the summon is one of the best things about this summon unironically is the fact that you can't call it with yatama <laughs> it's the fact that you can you can go into a comp like i'll, I'll show you my 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 uh fire my fire bar farming setup right so like my fire bar farming setup uses Yatama main and the whole objective of this setup is to to death orchid at the start so that all and on can come in and then you also get sun's call to guarantee this Yatama does not she cannot call summons that can only be called one time and Belial the normal one and summer Belial both can only be called one time so you will slot in these two summons so that you can force Yatama to to do these two summons or whatever these two summons may be right so he is good for that but you can also just use like Halmau here instead you could use a different summon instead of him he's just good because summer belial does give this dodge tank encounter effect so you can get a little bit of extra damage whenever the enemy hits you this is also useful for like like zero button otk stuff because if you can get the boss past 50 he'll he'll hit you and then he'll hit like everybody or for the most part he'll hit everybody and they'll counter and do damage so they can, they can kill the ex plus boss right so this can be good this can also be good for um if you use if you're a wind person or if you just use cot's backline because he will give you this supplemental damage taken effect um and cots will give you a boost if you if you're debuffed even if he's in the back line right and that that matters even if you're even if he's affecting somebody that's not wind right so if somebody in the front line is not wind and they have supplemental damage he'll still do that right you'll still get that effect which is good you know so that that helps um but honestly this this summon doesn't really get used a ton anymore as we move further and further to like faster like bar farming and sand farming setups you you want to use less and less summons and this character or not this character the summon gets used less and less and even when he's maxed his buffs are still random you get like as you max him you get a higher chance of getting like more buffs but it, it's just like it, it's not a totally reliable summon because a lot of times you want the echo off the summon call and you don't get the freaking echo so it's just like <laughs> whatever so the main thing I, I would say is the fact that he works well with the Atoma in burst setups where you know he gives you that counter effect he gives you the ability to force two other summons to be called since he can't be called and the supplemental damage taken effect for 
cots. So if you're interested in stuff like that, if you've seen setups that use him for that, he could be useful for you. But I would test to see if you really need that summon. If that summon is what is make or breaking your setup as opposed to, you know, something else before I anti ticks that summon. But he is good. He is he is he is good. So he's worth consideration if if you want him. Um, just he's kind of on the lower end now. He's not as high priority as he was maybe like a year ago. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for fire actually. So we can move on to um, the next Ellie, which will be water. Okay, so water. Um, let's get it started. We're gonna go through just how like how we did before. Uh, Izmir, no. Sandalfa, no. Europa, no. Rosetta, no. Shalem, hello, Ben Shalem. Here she is again, boys and girls. Here she is again. All her glory. Um, hello, Ben Shalem. In water, is pretty used. Um, she is. She is very used. In I know personally, I used her in my full autos for Guild War. Um, she was pretty useful there um, because of like the the dispels and delays and debuffs, all that stuff. Um, but she's also very used in high level content. She is a very prominent character in high level content um, because she she gets access to her Ogi a lot when you're playing like Kengo with um, like Shishio and with like Hasalia. Um, she just she's very good for high level content. She gets like this where she can she can debuff like crazy. Um, she gets this where she can cut. Uh, your skill cooldown, so she is she essentially speeds up time with with this move, which is good. Um, she has this move, which is like Summer Medusa from before. It's it's literally the exact same she can move. Um, so you know, just not being forcing the the opponent to not act plus debuffing also very good. Um, just debuffs in general, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, um, this is probably OD is crap and she can fall. <laughs> Because just like in because the thing about it is this this you can spam this so as long as you have charge bar to spam this you can keep spamming this um so you can debuff multiple times in fall um so yeah that's she's probably mad good in cheeking fall um let's see uh I think that's kind of it <laughs> I mean she's just good she's just a good ogi high level character um uh, she's good yeah. She's very good. I know a lot of people that don't have her in water are looking to her, especially with Fall Zero being a thing now. Um, a lot of people are using. A lot of people are using her. Um, yeah, she's she's just really good. She's really good. I think this character. I actually don't remember if this character Ogies twice or not. Maybe she doesn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. When the foe has ten or more debuffs, activates charge attack twice. So yeah, she'll. she'll so there, there's another thing. She, she, just like, just like her Earth version and Noah, Fire Noah, she'll she'll dispel twice. <laughs> she'll dispel twice on on Ogi once once you have debuffs up because in a in a raid like Fall, you're gonna have ten debuffs on party unless it's like you know people are just seeking dying. But you know you're gonna be able to do this so she takes care of dispels too so she's pretty much just like earth where she <laughs> you know she handles the dis the the debuffs and dispels by herself uh and water so yeah she's she's just good she's really she can good she's a good high level character um yeah chill him get my babu dang it just get her get her she's so good okay um Greya, no um, Kalulu, Kalulu's kind of nice, but she's kind of falling off. Kalulu, Kalulu's good. Like, she's good. She does damage. This, the sunburn, I have Kalulu. She, like, this is good. She does, she's good. She's decent. She's a decent character. Um, she also helps with Crest if you're using, um, Summer Kaliostro. Um, but she's falling off drastically. She's kind of in, like, she's kind of in the same boat as, like, Neza. Where it's like, she's a really good character, but you, there's just better options for a lot of your full autos. And she doesn't really get used in high level stuff that I know of. Um, so she does lack that over Neza, but she's just like, okay, I wouldn't really go for Kalulu. Um, Mirren, I've seen like once or twice, probably no. Siegfried, no. John, um, 
John I've seen for like some full autos. I don't have this character, but I think this character like I think this character's gimmick is that she either I think she just either doesn't die or she yeah, I think she just does a ton of damage and doesn't die or something like that. <laughs> or that she dies Okay, yeah, she she dies at the end of this, but she just stays alive the entire Kiki time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So she just does a ton of damage, just she can be good for like full auto. Um I don't have her I think you can live without her, to be honest. Um, she, I feel like she might be like, kind of like the the Vera, um, the Vera Neza tier, where it's like you may want this character just to have her, um, if you're like super invested in water. Like I'm sure she sees a lot of use. I know I've seen Dy use her quite a bit in like full autos for his his water stuff, um, but I just don't know if I would any ticks her if I have other options that need getting. Um, but I think she's good. I've also seen, um, her weapon used a bit. Um, the bloodshed. I've used the, we seen the weapon used quite a, not quite a bit, but somewhat, somewhat. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I would any tigs her unless I'm like a water main and I don't have any other options. Um, yeah. Um, and Dira. <sighs> Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. This character is like, dang. There's so many characters that are just like good to have, but you don't really use like a ton. Like, yeah, I, I don't know if I would go for Indira. She's just okay. She's just okay. Nah, I don't think I'd go for her though. Basaraga, I haven't really seen any of him. Nah. Arlumaya, nah. Kaliostro, hoo hoo. Kaliostro. So Kaliostro, the thing about Kaliostro is Kaliostro is kind of in the same tier as um, maybe like Jean, maybe a little bit above Jean, but she's like Kaliostro is good because Kaliostro. What, what was the thing that they changed with her? Where yeah, this where this this affects like all, all allies so it's Kali yeah that's that's the two things Kali Osho got like buffed twice right like inadvertently kind of where not only does this now not only do you not need to target people you used to have to target people with this and I think you still can target somebody with this but it's just once you have deluge crust now five deluge crust this just affects everybody which is good the other thing that was really a big hindrance to Kaliostro is Kaliostro really wants this buff. This buff is like goaded. This this buff is so freaking good. But the issue with Kaliostro before is that this needs five deluge crest and this move, if you had done her fate episode in the past, she would use this move pretty much at some point during the fight, unless you had just a ridiculous influx of Deluge Crest, she would use this move and she can use this move as long as she has Deluge Crest. So she could spam through all of her Deluge Crest using this move and then you get to this move and you have none to use it. But now that we have full auto changes where you can turn off skills, you even if you do the Fate episode for this skill, you can turn it off so she just never fully consumes her deluge crest and then she can just always use this this upgraded buff when it comes around so she got buffed because like i said she can use this on all allies now and this she can always have it up once it comes like once it's cooldowns back she can always get the upgraded version so she's really good kali Ostro is a really good crit buffer and she's just a good buffer in general because this is just damage cap and and um in Echo, like this is, she's just a really good buffer. But again, Kaliostro is kind of one of those characters where, even though I love Kaliostro, I love Kaliostro so much, I don't know if I would recommend any tixing her unless you already have all the high priority water stuff because she's kind of like a, a side grade to other stuff, um, where other stuff is like slightly better than her, um, but she's like okay. Like she's very usable, but she's not always the best. That's that's probably how I would say for Kaliostro at the moment. Okay, so let's move on from Kaliostro. Um, Sin, <laughs> good one. Uh, Vakala. Vakala is a very, very, very strong character. I have a very 
big feeling Vicala will be a big go-to for a lot of water people. I'm thinking probably Vicala, Shalim so far, probably going to be two very big picks for water people. Um, Vicala is really good because Vicala does a lot. <laughs> she does a lot. So Vicala has this field, right? But the thing about this field is this field does not need to be, you don't need to actually cast it, right? Because she will get, she will essentially auto activate this field as characters in your team use skills. And then once people, once the field is up and people use skills, when the field is up, every four skills she'll do, um, she'll do this nuke. She'll do this nuke right here right she'll do this nuke which is really good um because you just you know you just get free benefits from just everybody hitting skills and it doesn't matter what type of skill it is she just when someone uses skills uh you know she just does that crap um she also has this which is just you know buffs galore damage mitigation just mad good um she has this which is another debuff supplemental seeking permanent supplemental like <laughs> this joint's crazy um you know let's see what else yeah so the, this is the the rat level that i was talking about um so yeah when oh maybe i said four uh it's three when she gets when they use three once the field's up then she'll activate that um let's see what else just just she's just good she's just a good buffer she does a good buffer. And she does a lot of skill damage too. Which is really nice. Um, she just blows dudes up, honestly. <laughs> like she's she's really not like like her she has become like a premier full auto character. Honestly. She's very freaking good for full auto. Um I use her in like every water full auto I do now. Um I really like like Vakala, I said I said this once I got her because I actually if you don't know, I taking dirty sparked uh Halloween Dante on Halloween, but I got Vakala while I was sparking for him, and pretty much since Vakala, like, if you guys know me, you know I hate freaking water, right? But I, when I, when I got Vakala, I was like, dang, I actually kind of like playing water now, because <laughs> like, I just like her seeing, bl like, blowing people, people up with the freaking, uh, with the skill 2 nuke, just whenever you do skills, it's, it's just, I don't know, she's, she's a fun character, um, she's a fun character to have. So yeah, if you if you're looking for a full auto character for for water, this is this is like one of the really good ones. She's really good, really good. Vicky stays winning. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Diantha, no. Cassius, Cassius is like kind of okay. Um, I think Cassius's main thing is what he dispels. Um, let me see layer yeah yeah so he 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 does this when an ally removes a foe's buff activate layers that so he can he can dispel so he's he's a good character for like harder not harder content in the sense of like like fa zero or stuff like that but like harder stuff as in like um guild war full autos he can be useful in that or just just normal full autos like a tomb and stuff like that he can be used in there um but i wouldn't say he's really like a high priority pick anymore um like like pretty much if i had to choose a full auto character between him and bakala i would pick bakala you know like he's good but he's not like super amazing um he's just a good again <laughs> i keep saying this but he's just a good character to have but he's not like mandatory i don't think um let's see so katura katura <sighs> katura's weird um katura i think from what i can tell katura has been good she has been good but i think um Pay Paella, Pay Paelia, but however you say the Dragon Zodiac's name, I think she is kind of stepping on Katura's toes um, nowadays. I think since that character has come out, Katura's usefulness has dropped because I think the main thing that Katura has was the 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 double strike, um, and she just buffs MC. But I think Paella does that better? Question mark. I'm not a water guy, um, but that's what I've kind of seen. Um, if you're interested, also I will say, this character I haven't really seen for like full auto or hard stuff. The main thing that you see her for is, um, Kreisfelger bursting. 
that's the main thing I've seen her for. So what I would do is if you're interested in Katura, um, look into Payella first. Look into like burst setups with water first now to see if they're still using this character. Because I think Payella is kind of uh, overshadowed her a bit um, nowadays. I could be wrong on that. Maybe maybe they're used together. I don't know. Um, but I, I think Payella is kind of taken over her territory. Um, so that's kind of all I have to say about Couture. But I feel like if assuming if you're if you're a Hrace Belger user and Payella has not taken over Katura's territory, Katura is probably the third pick that I will see for water. It's probably Shalim, Vikala, Katura. But if Payella has taken over Katura's territory, then Katura probably gets dropped from the top three. My would be my guess. Um Clarice is a character is a character. <laughs> um I think the main thing with Clarice is Clarice I think she has the same thing as Sand Dolphin. Yeah. She has the thing, same thing as Sand Dolphin Earth, where she can turn the, the element to fire of the enemy. I think that's the main thing, but even with that and with Race Felger now in water. I don't even think this really gets used that much. I don't think this character really gets used that much. I don't see her a ton. I really don't. Um, so I don't know if I would really recommend Clarice. Um, be real. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Fadiel. Oh boy, Fadiel is kind of a letdown. <laughs> hey, Fadiel is kind of a letdown. Um. I don't even really know what to say on Fedio because Fedio came out and I think everybody and their mom was like, we're going to use her for Guild War. And then she just kind of got overshadowed by like Hasalia, Shalim and Gabriel and Vajra. There was just like, she's a good character, but there's just no space. There's like no space to use this character in like Ogi Grids. There's just better characters. I think that's the general consensus. She just doesn't. She just doesn't do enough to be used in a lot of those Ogi comps. But she's okay. She's okay. She's very hot. But mm, I don't know if I would anti text her. She has not seen very much use. She has not seen very much use at all. Um, which is a shame because she fatty old dude. Um, Narmaya, no. Lucio, Lucio is a good character, but Lucio is in kind of the same vein as Katura, but I don't think Lucio has been power crept like Katura has with Paella. Um, Lucio still has, um, let's see, I think he has, well, he has that damage immunity, but he has this that he can give to, um, MC with Race Velger. Um, yeah, he can buff, he can buff the crap out of MC with Race Velger, which is good. Um, he's like a premier buffer for that. Also, yeah, he gives the triple attack too, which Trace Velger needs. So, yeah. Um, Lucio, very good if you are a Trace Velger user. He may actually be third now instead of Katura, since Paella exists. He may be your third pick for water. Um, and then Anilla. Anilla. Ooh, Anilla is good, but Anilla has issues because Anilla. Um, Anilla needs turns to use this. She needs to take turns to get her stacks up to use this. Um, and I don't know if it's worth using that. I don't know if it's worth taking the turns. I think that's the the issue. Um, that it, it, I don't think it's worth taking the turns. <laughs> and for full auto, she's like kind of a side grade to like, like Vakala, Gabriel, Lancelot. She can kind of fit somewhere in that that full auto. But she's kind of like, she's just okay. She's just kind of one of those characters that you kind of use for fun, I feel. Um, maybe for some Guild War stuff, but I don't know, dude. I don't remember really seeing her in Guild War either. Keep it a band. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking top three for this is probably... Top three for this is probably uh, Vikala, Shalim, Lucio. Those are probably the top three I'm thinking. Okay, let's go to Water Summons. Um, water Summons, none of these. Once again, skip that Varuna. I see you. Um, no. Uh, Tira. Tira is the one. Um, 
I think the only thing I've seen Tira be used for is uh, Grand Order farming with Chrysor. Water Chrysor. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> Maybe she's used for like some like event like boxing. But I think that's it. Maybe Guild War? OTK? Question mark? Uh, I think that's it. She's okay. She's one of those things kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, Summer Servers, where I don't think she gets a lot of use, but if you're a water main, you may want to have her just available to you, just in case something comes up. But I wouldn't really recommend her for the vast majority of people. Uh, yeah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, next. Done with. Ooh, 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 it's Earth, boys. It's Earth. Let's go. It's time. Okay, longest section coming through. All right. Uh, Vera, no. Hot, but no. Uh, Monica. Monica's weapon can actually be used for Ogi stuff if you're using like Andromeda. I've used it a couple times. Um, not like super great, but it's okay. Um, Monica herself. Monica is still good if you use an Ogi comp. If you use an Ogi comp, she is still like the premier Ogi gainer because she gives you this, which is every single time she Ogies, she resets her skills and she will always use this one first on Falato because it's first in the, the row. So she'll always give you 30% charge bar each turn. So she gives you a ton of of charge bar she also can be kind of a dodge tank i have my money literally ringed but she can still take a lot of damage i'm gonna be real um she doesn't always dodge and when she does get hit she does take a lot of damage sometimes um but she if you're using ogi ogi related stuff so like for example like i use her for like diaspora um to get charge bar there when i'm doing like my host um if you're doing like um if you're doing like a Bubs full auto or something, or even like a Fa full auto with Kengo or like Andromeda, you you might bring her because of the the charge bar, right? Um, but that is her main thing. The rest of these skills are decent, but they're you just use her for the Ogi. I'm gonna be real. You you use her for the Ogi. Um, so if you need an Ogi booster, it's kind of between her and uh, Benjamin. Those two characters are kind of like the premier charge bar gainer she's slightly better than benjamin um but benjamin can probably make do especially nowadays if you're a hunting user especially um ogi does not see as much play or like pure ogi does not see as much play anymore um but moni she's still good she's still good she's a good character to have she's a very good character to have because if you ever want to do like octo related stuff she is usually there because of that that charge bar game um so yeah Moni's good but not super high priority um vicala vicala whoo vicala but okay vicala's sword is like a better sky piercer if you're not main handing it what i mean by that is if you're not main handing sky piercer if you wanted this this move where um you get an extra hit to earth allies triple attacks this is better because this one has the second skill as opposed to sky piercer whose second skill is based purely on you main handing the weapon um so this is like better sky piercer if you want to use a sky piercer type weapon in your grid um the caller herself the caller herself kind of sees use but also kind of doesn't see use so the main thing for one she has this which is double double strike to everyone besides her by the way the does not attack she only counters um she does not attack but she she buffs everyone else right this move can be extremely good because it can help your entire team double strike which is good um i've used vicala for a very long time in my diaspora setup um she is one of my favorite characters to use in that diaspora setup because she use she pair her with um halloween kukuro and halloween kukuro um 
her S1 gets copied by Kame, and then Halloween Kukura and Kame plus MC, all having double strike, can you know clear the debuff triggers because they will spam Kukuro's S1 that uh, debuffs twice, right? Plus, it's just a ton of damage because they're double striking. Plus, they have those those skill damage nukes, which is really good. She also pairs really well for burst type stuff with uh, Christmas Narmaya because Christmas Narmaya's assassin lasts for the entire turn, so you can double strike with Christmas Narmaya um, with Vicky. The one thing about Christmas Narmaya though is now that we have Hunting with Glorybringer, Glorybringer does allow that double strike skill there that can pair with Narmaya since Narmaya is a katana ally, so Vicala isn't as needed nowadays when it comes to Narmaya burst as she was before. The other really big thing about Vakala is Vakala has this where this is guaranteed triples um, and it gives that character like higher chance to dodge. It also gives them lower defense uh, but it's kind of okay. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> um, but this is guaranteed triples which it can be very good. Um, if you've seen some of my full autos in the past, I have paired her with people like Uriel to not only buy, because the thing about it is this, this is ready in two turns, right? And this also now uh, comes out on full auto because full auto does zero turn stuff now. Um, so essentially you can use this as a way for a character to bypass debuffs or unadvantageous situations. Like for example, with Uriel and Tefna, I will have Uriel come in later on Tefnut so that he can avoid the first like CA damage trigger that she does because I'm not CAing in that comp. So I'm going to take it. But Vikala can get that, that super blind debuff that she throws out and then Vikala can swap out to Uriel and then he has like a whole like 80% before she does that move again. So he can avoid that blind. Um, it's also helpful for characters like Halloween Dante, where Halloween Dante, his whole kit is like built around triple attacking. He really wants to triple attack, and her buff gives you guaranteed triple attack. It also gives that dodge rate so that it can help, again, Halloween Dante, because Dante doesn't want to get hit, because when he gets hit, he loses his stacks. His stacks get cut in half. So that dodge rate can help him keep his stacks as well. So this move is also very good for just full auto. Pretty much any character that does not have guaranteed triples in Earth, you can have Vicala come out first. She'll cast this, give everybody double strike for a turn. One turn she'll just do like nothing, and then she'll swap out to that other character and give them guaranteed triples, which is good. That's good to have. Um, that's the main thing with Vicala. Um, there also has been some comps in the past where you use like her Ogi and stuff because she she essentially does this as well so you can you can ogi on her first do this then get ogi sealed and then use this the next turn so you can double strike like two turns in a row right um so she's good but she she's like situationally good um she's not like mandatory by any means as of right now but she is she's again a good character to have she's just nice to have um i would consider any ticksing her if you are invested in earth and you have other higher priority things um she she is a very good character to have i i'll be real i like i like using the call a lot um okay let's move on rosetta no oh boy dante 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 mm, i'm gonna say probably not <laughs> Okay, so Dante's biggest thing, Dante's biggest thing is he has this. He has this, this bonus earth damage effect to earth allies triple attacks. This is a special type of echo that does not stack with like the other echoes. This is, this is a unique echo so that you can always get this echo. So it's always extra damage if you can hit triple attacks. The issue is that Dante himself kind of freaking sucks. Um, Dante himself kind of kicking sucks. Dante also really wants to use his moves. He wants to use this move, um, and he wants to be high stacks so he can get all these bonuses. And he wants high stacks so that he can do this. These are actually kind of high. These are actually kind of high. I remember when I looked at these before, they're kind of, 
the same, if not above, Uriel summons call when it comes to attack and defense. So it's actually a pretty decent buff. But it's just like, he needs a lot of ramp up time. He needs to, um, let me see where I was talking about before. Uh, with the, the triple attacks. Um, bu -bu 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 where's the triple attack thing? Um, I don't even remember where it is. Oh, duh. It's just this. <laughs> he wants the triple attack so he can do this, right? So he can get the extra echo on his triple attack, right? That's why he wants the triple attack. But the big thing about him is just he, these seeking stacks, literally if he gets hit, the stacks get cut in half. And then his buffs get drastically cut and the only thing he has to protect him besides something like Vakala helping him dodge is like this 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 shield right here which is decent it's a decent shield but it's just like I don't know it's just it's kind of whatever he's okay though one saving grace I will say about him though is that he is a staff specialty which means he can be used with a lot of Earth's other big bursty units or just good units in general because a lot of them are either staff or axe so he can use that amp harp uh world harp like the rest of them which can be good so he can fit into comps um but yeah he's kind of just an echo bot i'm gonna be real and i i was telling somebody in my crew chat this like last night that dante is he's good and he may see guild war use because of that echo but i I believe that we will probably get other units, especially like an Exalto unit, that will probably be used for Guild War over him. So I don't know if I would recommend anti ticking him. I'm going to be real. Um, again, another good character to have, but I don't even really know if I would recommend anti ticking him like I did with Fakala because he just sees such limited use. Um, I also said to that crewmate as well that a big niche that he had where for a... a, a an amount of time I was using him, you know, I was calling him in with Vakala, right? For like full autos for like Wamdis and Tefna. And those were pretty fast full autos. But then we got Uriel, who is a better slot in for that. And then we got Olivia, who's an even better slot in for that. And it's just like, <laughs> no, Dante is just like, he's not that guy, bro. He's, he's not that guy. Yeah, he's just gotten, he's already gotten power crept like twice. And I I see more units coming that will probably continue to creep over him. Um, so yeah, no, I don't I don't think I would recommend Dante. I'm be real. Okay, moving on from Dante, let's go to the next character, um, Medusa Meduchan. She does not have the same the same aura that she has in Fire. No, um, Zedavos Raga. Eh, nah, nah. They, I mean, Zeta is extremely hot in this skin. But no, uh, no. Uh, Magisa, no. Anthuria is kind of a no as well. Anthuria is, she is kind of in the same camp as Monica, where she's kind of a part of that Ogi squad. Um, and we don't really Ogi anymore. <laughs> Since hunting, we don't really Ogi anymore, and her main gimmick was this this auto or not auto attacking, this double striking twice. Um, but you don't really you don't really use her. She could still be good with like if you use um, Andromeda stuff, but no, not really. Also, one thing I've been meaning to say for like months, um, I laid Folia out because I said she was the original offender of Earth's long cooldowns. No, it was this cheeking character. 25 turns, my guy! 25 turns? Are you insane? What the heck? No, no. Her weapon does see some use um, for the healing cap, but I wouldn't any ticks for this. Nah, I wouldn't any ticks for this. I don't think I would any ticks for Anthuria in general nowadays. Um, Tako, pretty much a trash character. Her weapon is kind of in the same boat as Anthuria's, where you use it for the healing cap. Some people will use it for the healing cap. I don't really think it's that big of a boon, I'm going to be real, especially because a lot of times where you're going to use this weapon, you're going to be using Kame anyway, uh, which gives you, you know, healing, and then, you know, nah, it's just, nah, it's okay, you you can live without this, I've been living without it, I have this character, I have this weapon, but I, I have not gotten to a point where I'm like, dang, I really need to bar this weapon, and Tako herself is trash, so, no, um, 
Europa! Europa is okay. She's okay for Ogi comps, but I wouldn't any ticks her. No. Uh, Eustace, no. Silva, no. Ilnot. Ooh. Okay, now we're talking. Ilnot. Ilnot is one of those characters. Ilnot is one of those characters that you don't need until you need her. <laughs> Elna is one of those characters that you don't need until you need her. Um, she is still a very... She's like a lurking legend when it comes to burst in Earth. She's always waiting for a chance to be used in Earth. Because she gives you this guaranteed triple strike for four turns. Guaranteed echo for uh, four turns. And she also has this massive debuff i know a lot of people will use this debuff for diaspora i've never really been a fan of the ill not comp because trying to get her to die can be annoying sometimes but uh and that comp is slower but um yeah this is really good i've even used this in light before for my old belial setup where i would use this and then i would use this to delay to kill her and uh show and then uh have like uh nihon and Geisenberger come out so yeah Ilna is very good also she has she has this 40% boost to charge charge bar at the start if she's a main ally hold on need to sneeze okay she has this whereas 40% boost to charge uh, bar for all allies at battle start if she's a main ally this can be good for OTK stuff very good for OTK stuff um, this also can help get into this I know one thing when when Uriel came out, my friend Dote Anima had thought, I, I didn't even think about this, but she has this, and Uriel's S2 gives you extra 30% uh, charge bar. So, you you get 30% just from, you know, normally, and then you get 40% from this, which is 70, and then Uriel's S2 will give you the last 30% the last, uh, for 100, so you can use this like turn 1 instead of before you had to use like Uriel's call so now you can use Uriel's s2 instead use this move and then you can use another summon um so yeah she's good for bursting but the issue is that earth burst kind of sucks in general well okay that is a huge understatement <laughs> that is a huge understatement what i meant by that is earth's like bar farming like where you would use her for burst um earth kind of isn't the best there right the like the place you would use her in is like is like you know like grand order or or uh proto baja but even then there's kind of better stuff for less buttons and less you know clicking around and stuff like that to use her Ilma. but again she is a lurking legend like she is a character that will probably see use again I don't know when, but she will probably see use again. Um, she is definitely a dark horse. Um, her weapon is also like um, Summer, or not Summer, uh, Valentine's Moni. So if you want to get one or the other, I would probably pick Ilnot. Um, Ilnot will probably be useful more than Moni will be. Um, so Ilnot is good. Okay, Kukuro. Kukuro, I have got so many questions about. Whew. Kuguro is really good for Diaspora. <laughs> Kuguro is very good for Diaspora. She is not a high-level content character. Um, and I would say for the most part, nowadays, she has pretty much fallen off of the vast majority of full auto stuff. But she is still, in my opinion, the queen of Diaspora. So what I would say is if you need to do Diaspora, if you want to farm Diaspora for, you know, you know, a ton of water stuff, or more predominantly, if you want to spam Diaspora for Sands, Kukuro is a very good pick. She's a very good pick. I talked about this before in the Vakala section, but the thing about Kukuro is she has this skill, which, which does a ton of damage, and 
she she also just does a ton of damage anyway because she does multi attacks and she does uh triple she's essentially like earth's uh valentine's grimnir she attacks like that but she also does this uh, massive amount of skill damage nuke and she debuffs and this skill can be copied by Kame, so you can have Kame and her doing this with vicala double strikes which again like i said this is this is two debuffs here so she'll be doing four Kame will be doing four and then mc will be doing four <laughs> yeah four as well with uh like beast fang berserker right so they can handle debuff triggers by themselves that way um she is just and she just does a ton of hits for diaspora as well to help with with that um she also has this move as well which is just attack without using a turn which will also proc this right here she's just very good um i have also started using her if you guys have seen salt um ultimate bahamut high level full auto for earth she is used in that because she has three red skills for uriel which is also good um this this move also depending on how many stacks she has can be used multiple times in a turn um she is she is a very good she is she is like the apex of a very good character to have um but the main thing for kukuro is if you want to do diaspora that is the main thing if you want to do diaspora if you want to make that your primary sand farm kukuro is your girl but if you can do something like siete or cosmos or whatever other people are doing nowadays um you probably don't really need her you don't need her for high level stuff you don't need her for uh normal full auto yeah there are other characters that you can use instead um so she is just the queen of diaspora if you need diaspora get kukuro okay so moving on from kukuro let's go to next um jessica no even after her changes no um alexiel is like alexiel is is also just good to have she's just good to have because alexiel like i talked about with vera earlier alexiel has this where she will just tank a ton of damage for you your entire team she will just tank a ton of damage but alexiel has fallen off drastically nowadays with earth's units there's just not space for her honestly there's just not space and you just don't a lot of earths can just cancel stuff that you would use this character to cheese um like the, the mechanics that you would use this character to cheese with you can just cancel them on earth anyway so she's not she's not really useful anymore um she's she's good to have but i would i don't think i would 86 her i don't think i would 86 her um be real um matera no <sighs> boy do you guys really want me to talk about folia do you, do you you really want me to talk about this character you really you really want me to talk about this character dude bro the, the folia rant has been a long long time coming long time coming oh this has been a long time coming folia by the way i love folia folia is super cute she reminds me of neo from uh xenoblade chronicles 2 i i love i love folia she's she's awesome but her character is freaking trash her character is god awful oh my god okay all right pseudo folia rant time okay okay how do i start this the biggest culprit okay actually you know what the biggest culprit actually these freaking cooldowns what, what this goes down to 18 turns i think but 20 turns dude are you for real 20 turns 20 turns for this bro 20 turns for this charge diamonds don't fill up can't use special attacks this is good but you want to know a character that we just got who's way better than this one <laughs> olivia olivia does this and i'm pretty sure olivia will hit this more because folia's does not always work it does not always hit the main thing that people are like oh don't worry folia is going to get used on guild wars she's going to be used you know post 50 percent to stop the boss from doing anything this thing missed this thing missed post 50 percent. you couldn't even use it it was just like bro and the thing about it the thing that's crazy the thing that's crazy is that she only gets this assassin which is only one hit it's one hit not one turn one hit one hit assassin 
one hit assassin not only is it only one hit assassin but this assassin can only take effect if this takes effect so if you miss this you don't get well i think you get this but you just don't it doesn't do anything because this isn't on the boss <laughs> It's just like, bro, please, please. Oh my god. The triple attack is good. The triple attack for one turn is good. This is actually one turn. But the thing about this is this triple attack one turn screws with Ilnot's triple attack. Where essentially this one takes effect over Ilnot. So if you use Folia and Ilnot together, Ilnot's lasts for like three or four turns. I think it's four turns. If you use both of those moves, so if you use Ilnots and Folias, it doesn't matter which order, Folias will take advantage. But Folias only lasts for one turn. So after that one turn, it's almost like you just wasted your your Ilnots triple attack rate, which would have lasted another three turns. So it, you just get screwed by this because they don't work together. It's just... <laughs> oh my god it's so bad it's so bad this character is so freaking trash dude it, she's so god awful she's so god awful like i literally use folia for like two things i use folia for like an ex plus uh or sorry not an ex plus um the 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 what's the third stage of like events called they're not ex plus but like the one that you usually full auto or whatever <laughs> i don't like, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what it's called. Let me, let me look real quick. Hold on. Uh, where's this ticking event at? Uh, I haven't even done this today. Hey, ignore me. This, the, the impossible, right? I used her for this for like one event, right? The event where like Koopy Ton and that other chick were there. Uh, I used her for that, right? I used her for that for that full auto. And I've used her for my, um, in sandbox the 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 xenos the the xenos in there that that can give you like the bars and the the evil lights when you farm them i've used her for that those are the two places and probably she would probably get benched from that nowadays too it's just it's so bad she's such a bad character dude um okay so this move this move aside second move this move is good the issue with this move is this move you have to go 10 turns 10 turns before this affects anybody besides folia why 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 just just why why when when this character came out people were like oh my god she's the buffer and the debuffer and the assassin we need and then we figured out hey this only affects people after 10 turns dude it's so bad it's so bad this move fell one charge diamond of a foe 30 percent boost all allies charge bar boost dude, garbage garbage just use monica dude like this is trash this is trash i remember i actually tried to i the fool the idiot that i am i tried for like a day to get this character to work in a fall full auto because everybody was like so the, the other thing that folia has is like she gives bonus earth damage effect to allies on ogi right which is like okay and then extend white remnants effect duration by two so this so once you get this on everybody you can extend this because it's a 14 treating turn cooldown you can extend this i think this is actually 12 by the way but you can extend this as you ogi right but the issue is this character only has this to ogi with she and i've talked about it before i talked about it with uriel earth doesn't want to ogie anymore we're done we're done we don't want to ogie like that anymore it's just like no and like i said people people were saying back when this character came out that um so this this she does cut skill cooldowns on charge attack which is you know i talked about that in the earlier rant i don't know why they can't just give us lower cooldowns i don't know why we have to charge attack to get lower cooldowns it's freaking stupid uh but people were saying that the boost to earth allies defense based on number of turns passed the boost to defense and this is why i was trying to use her for fall full auto um but no it's garbage it's garbage this plus this is like good but besides that she does nothing 
she does nothing. It, it's crazy, too, because this is skill two, just like she can aerial skill two. Skill two is the only thing she's that's worth. Because this, half the time when you get this, either this will miss or this will hit, and then you ogi, and it's like, okay, thanks for the assassin on my tricky ogi. <laughs> You know, this is trash. This screws up fall all over the place because if you start giving fall charge diamonds or you start taking away charge diamonds for fall, he gets all out of whack. You can't kill the wing. You can't get the wing buff off. It's just eight all over the place. No, it's bad. It's, it's just bad. It's bad. Uh, chance to remove one debuff from Folia at turn start. Oh, thank you, Folia. Thank you. God bless. Uh, no, this character is garbage. Garbage. And I hate to say it because I love Foley as a character. But no, she's not good. She's not used. She's bad. She's bad. She's no, no, no. She's not good. Don't, don't, no, no. I know this just got cheeking an FLB or whatever. No, this is garbage too. What am I using this for? What am I? No, no, dude. No, no, no. She's, she's not good. She's not good. Foley rant. That's been a long time coming. A long time coming. No. Do not any tix folia. She, bro, I links mated this character, bro. I links mated this character. No, no, take my word for it. Please do not any tix that character. No, folia is not good. She's not good. <sighs> Dang, that feels good. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on. Shalim. Shalim's weapon. Shalim's weapon has become kind of a premier ogi weapon although technically i haven't really used it because again like i said we don't really ogi nowadays so i haven't really felt a need to bar this yet and i don't really feel a need to get more than one um uh, shalim herself though if you guys have been around this channel at all in the last like five months uh, five months i guess she's only been out for like three but in the last three months i've been going crazy over this character i love shalim i love shalim she's so good but the thing with Shalim, I'm a, I'm a keep it 100,000%. You guys know I'm a simp for this character. I love Shalim. But I'm going to be real. Shalim is a, a free pass side grade to a lot of what Earth has, right? She is a free pass side grade. What I mean by that is Shalim does a ridiculous amount for Hexa and Fa Zero. Those are her two spots, honestly. Those are her two spots, are those two raids. But she makes those raids such a cakewalk that it's ridiculous. You do not have to think in those raids anymore. Oh, she can two male hit triggers in, in Hexa. Uh, Shalim just took care of like eight of them by herself. Um, you know, debuff trigger in Fa, Shalim presses S1, it's over. Uh, she she has all these freaking debuffs. Dispel trigger. She she pops her her field and ogies. Dispel trigger gone. She doesn't have field up or charge bar. Press S2. It's gone anyway because that always uh, double hits. Th this move always double hits once she gets her her stacks off. So all her debuff skills activate twice. Right. It, it's just like she is so good for those two raids, but she's not a necessity essentially what i've been starting to tell people is for hexa and fa there are faster more damaging comps for those fights but shalim is the safe non-thinking super hyper carry comp because shalim can move and cancel every trigger continuously a big thing with the the arlumaya comp in fa zero where it's arlumaya olivia came is that arlumaya that comp does not have dispels so when you get post 55 percent gauntlet to 20 percent every dispel trigger that comes out you just tank and just keep mashing through which is fine if you're in a super coordinated super fast room but if you're in a room where people are getting stuck where you have labor bots where people cannot move 
Shalim can cancel every single trigger over and over and over and over and over again because when she ogies, she cuts her skill cooldown and these skill cooldowns are not super long in the first place and she ogies twice once her seals are gone so she is constantly cutting her ogies or she's constantly cutting her cooldowns every single time she ogies so she she has her skills available to her over and over and over again she can also when she doesn't attack she gains instant charge so she can always be ready to use this she can always be ready to ogie and then use this and when she uses this and she ogies she casts this on each ogie twice right so she's just extremely good for hexa and for fa zero but like I said, for the, the, the Fa Zero comp, she is hyper carry over Arlumaya because she can keep going where Arlumaya at some point at some point if the run is slow enough, Arlumaya comp is gonna run into an issue where you tank too many dispel triggers and your end gauge is gonna start dropping too fast and you're gonna start getting screwed over. Um same thing with um like the the if you get yellow sword early in Fa Zero, then um that is going to cause you to have to think more about how to ogie. Whereas Shalem, you literally just ogie, you guard her next turn, she has ogie next turn. And she can, her with MC can trigger three ogies for the two people behind them, right? Whereas Arlumaya, you have to do stuff where you have to Olivia S1 and you have to Uriel and you have to do stuff with Kame cards, you got to do all this stuff. Shalem doesn't care. You don't think, you just keep moving. She may be she may be less damage per turn than those other comps, but she can keep going longer. It's the same thing in Hexa. She can just cancel triggers way easier than a Galleon comp can. Uh, when it comes to post 15% gauntlet, you don't have to think. You just do stuff with Shalim. She canceled the debuff triggers. She can help you with the skill damage trigger. She can do the CA damage trigger. She can do the hitch trigger. She can get you back up to Faded Chain. She just does it all. She does it all for those hard fights. She is the hyper carry for those hard fights. So if you want to hyper carry on Earth, if you want to be super defensive for Earth and be like invincible on Earth, Shalim is your pick. But she is like a side grade to Galleon and Hexa and to uh, Arlumaya in Fa Zero. But it's just, do you want to be super tanky, super OP? You're not going to die. Shalim is your pick. That's that's what I'm going to say on Shalim. Okay, I like there's more for Shalim. <laughs> you know I gotta talk. I, you know I gotta talk about this chicken character. People ask me about this character so much because I'm such a simp, and everybody knows I'm a simp for. But um, the other thing that, that's that's good about Shalim is for Fa Zero and Hexa, she so she so easily counters those fights with everything that she has that she can carry weaker setups i talked about this when i talked about is hunting worth it in magna in that video um where i talked about how hunting hunting can't do hexa in magna like it can in primal you need like everything in primal to be able to hit two mil auto attacks in hexa with the galleon setup right Shalim don't care. Shalim don't care. <laughs> Shalim, this move right here, plus being able to activate it four times for two ogies, don't care about the two mil hit triggers. It, it just don't care. So if you are a Magna player, or if you are a player that doesn't have everything that Earth has to offer, she is she becomes better and better over Galleon and Hexa and over Arlumaya in Fa Zero because she can help carry the weaker grids because her kit just counters both of those bosses so handedly. Because she counters them so handedly, you can just do whatever you want. You know, obviously you you can't just go in there with like no weapons or anything, but <laughs> you know I'm you know what I'm saying, right? You can go in with at least uh, a less invested grid to do these fights with Shalim because she just she just blows them both up. She just does whatever she freaking wants. So it's just like it's just like she's ridiculous. Also, Shalim helps you with um you know if for Fall Zero right, Fall Zero has Fall Zero has the five CA trigger for the fifty five percent gauntlet. For people that run the Arlumaya comp, you have to have triple zero for that, by the way. Because if you don't have triple zero, you cannot 5 CA in that comp with Arlumaya. Shalim, double ogies. You don't need triple zero to, to be able to do that with her. Um, you do kind of need triple zero for 6 CA, though. Um, 
but you don't need triple zero for for that. Um, technically, technically, you could do well. I guess that's kind of the same too, because you could use Yamato for the five CA thing, but then at that point, you're not using Chaos Ruler anymore. So I don't know. It, all I'm trying to say is that Shalim. If you're thinking about Shalim, I think Shalim is a ridiculously good pick. But Shalim is one of those characters where if you are super heavily invested in Earth, she does lose a bit of a bit a bit of usefulness because there are characters and comps that can go faster than her. But I will say, and I've shown it, I've tried to do my best to shill this character on my channel. You can go back and look at like any of my Fall Zero, a lot of the Hexa stuff um, with Earth since Shalim has been out, has been using Shalim. Um, I have tried to show this character and explain how this character works for those raids. Um, Shalim just makes it way easier. She just she just makes those raids way easier, and you can just carry way harder with less than the other the other stuff. And you don't have to think. You don't have to think with this character. Um, she just she just does. It. She just works. She just works. She's amazing. She's amazing for high level stuff. That is her her niche. You don't really use her for anything else. I'll be real. Um, you don't really use her for anything else, but for harder stuff and B2, heck yeah, heck yeah. I've also seen, um, a full auto with her for, uh, bumps with the Andromeda as well. So you can do some full auto Ogi stuff with her, but mostly it's Fall Zero and Hexa. Those are the two big spots, but especially Fall Zero is a very hot topic right now. So Hexa kind of too, because you need Hexa mats for that. So <laughs> Babu, get my Babu. I'm telling you, get my Babu. Um, okay, so I think that's really it for Shalim. Um, Narmaya. <sighs> Jesus, Narmaya is like, <sighs> if, if Ilna is a lurking legend, Narmaya is also a lurking legend. Narmaya has fallen so ridiculously out of favor nowadays that it's kind of crazy because you don't really use, you don't use Narmaya for hard content and like I said, Earth, when it comes to, like, bar farming and stuff, is not, like, the fastest. So, it's not the one that you really go to anymore. And that's kind of, like, her main niche. But Narmaya is still a ridiculously good burst unit. Um, she bursts extremely strong. Especially if you use, like, Bacala or uh, Glorybringer to give her double strike with this, um, this superior elemental and this assassin. Um, one of the biggest issues with Armaya though is that she's buttons. Um, she kind of wants to press both of these buttons like really bad um, to get like the maximum amount of her damage. She really wants to press both of them, um, which kind of sucks because Earth wants to cut down on buttons. We don't want it to use as many buttons when it comes to burst. Um, and she's kind of part of that problem because she's like probably still our best like assassin character besides MC with hunting glory bringer she's probably our best assassin MC or she's probably our best assassin character besides MC but she uses two buttons and we don't want to use two two buttons we want to use like no buttons or or one <laughs> you know what I'm saying so it's just like I don't know if I'd really recommend Narmaya at this point she's nice to have but i don't know if i would recommend an any ticks because i i feel like at this point whenever earth gets its exalto that character at this point is probably going to be a burst character and i feel like narmaya will probably finally be dealt with at that point i i don't know if this character is going to stay around much longer um yeah that's kind of how i feel so top top three for earth um actually maybe i'll just do top three for each ellie at the end um, so let's look at summons for Earth. I know <laughs> Earth is a very long amount. Uh, again, skip type Titan, no. Uh, none of these, no. Um, Freyr, no. I don't even know what Freyr does. Oh, Freyr's like worse Mandrake. Okay, got you. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Mandrake is good. Mandrake is good. Mandrake, I would unironically, if you have a lot of the high priority Earth characters already, and you're an Earth main and don't have Mandrake, I would unironically, uh, I would unironically say Mandrake is pretty cheap and good because Mandrake, Mandrake gives this to spell cancel, 
sub, but she also, once you upgrade her, she gives strength. And that strength for three turns is really good for burst stuff on Earth, right? Another big thing is Mandrake is a summon that people have consistently fallen back on for reliable debuffs. Whether it's something like Faw Zero, where you need uh, debuffs, people have brought Mandrake, even if they're not Earth, they brought Mandrake. Um, Mandrake has been used in, in stuff like Diaspora for the debuffs there. Um, Mandrake is a good summon. She's a very good summon. This strength buff in and of itself is very good for the, the sub hour. It's very good because unlike unlike MD, you don't have to really proc it because almost every fight you come into that you're going to have Mandrake sub, you're probably going to be starting with like full HP, right? So when it comes to bursting stuff. So she's good for like Guild War. She's good for, you know, bar farming. She's good. She She's a good summon, unironically. So yeah, I would recommend Mandrake if you have other... Other high priority earth characters out of the way and you don't have mandrake and you're an earth main mandrake is actually pretty fucking good unironically so yeah yeah but i think that's it for earth um so next we will move whoops we will move on to the next alley which will be wind okay let's keep it going we're on wind all right uh seruel no yingwei no eliza I know Eliza was being used for wind mashing on um, on uh, Guild War, and I know that she is used for, I believe, this button in... Well, I think this button and this button for Siegfried. I don't know if it's full auto, but I know for mashing in there, too. Um, she was, like, the best, besides, like, Nami and Robin. She was, like, she's, like, the best character for that mashing monk comp she's good i'm not a wind main i don't know if i would any tix her just for those two purposes but if i was a wind main and she was like the only character i was missing maybe um but i don't i can't myself i can't really recommend her um i don't know if she's that good um Shion, i know people use this character for like siegfried full auto nowadays that's the only thing I know. <laughs> I don't even really know what this character does. I just know people use it for, for Siegfried full auto. So if you want a full auto Siegfried, maybe, but I don't think I would spend an 86 on her. Um, I've seen people use this weapon as well. Um, this weapon seems kind of decent for a defensive option. Um, still don't know if I would any ticks her unless I was like an absolute win main. Um, yeah, no. Uh, John, no. Grimnir... <sighs> Dang, dude. Kind of crazy. Grimnir nowadays, I don't know if he's really used. I think I was talking, I, I think I was talking to my friend Aku about this the other day. And there's not really space. Because the main comp, the main comp that I use for like full auto nowadays is Ewiar. Ewiar Grand. Halloween Lich and Yukata Vampy, which means Grimnir is kind of out. He's still good. This is still a lot of shaking damage. This is a lot of skill damage per turn, and he has, you know, guaranteed triples with the like the flurry. But I don't even know if I would any tick him nowadays. He's good, but he's he has fallen out of favor for other units. Yeah. It's kind of crazy because this character has been good for so freaking long. And he's still good, but... Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think so. Anilla... I think Anilla you really only use if you're going to buff with this move. And I don't know if she's even the best buffer in Wind anymore. I think that's all. So I would see... If I was like a Wind main, I would see how much she's actually used. Because I think it's only for this button. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's only for that button. I uh, don't know if I would any ticks her nowadays. Lich. Ooh, double whammy right here. Jesus Christ. Lich. <laughs> Gotta take a pause real quick. Lich. Yeah, I'd any ticks this character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing about Lich. Lich. Ooh, Lich is kind of crazy. Lich is kind of crazy. This move. This move, debuffing, and dispels, right? 
debuffing and dispels. This move, ton of debuffs and buffs, because she 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 buffs. Uh, wait, does she? This this buffs you, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this buffs you, right? Yeah, yeah, this buffs you and it debuffs the enemy at the same time, right? Good. Play undead effect caster. This makes it so that she can't normal attack, but that at the end, at the end of the turn, she boosts charge bar and then she uses this crap. This make is more than enough. This thing does so much freaking damage at the end of turn. It's like taking 10, 11, 12 mil. It's ridiculous. And that's in my magna. <laughs> I don't even know what Primal can do. <laughs> Secret Ridiculous. It, this does so much damage. And again, this does dispel. So she dispels like every key can turn. This this is good as crap. This is super good. She gets all this she can grab too. Let me, let me see. When allies gain these effects in order based on them, red debuffs can turn, com, convert turn-based damage uh, to HP recovery. That's good because she gives you the turn-based damage so you're getting healing. Uh, boost to charge bar gain. Good. Boost to attack. Boost to damage cap. She can, she just buffs you out the wazoo. At the end of turn, when Lich's charge bar is 50% or higher, consumed 30% of charge bar to deal wind damage to all foes. Delay effect. So she also does, she, 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 <laughs> she does this, and then she throws like a pumpkin at you. That's just like more, more damage, and it delays. <laughs> so she's just, she is skilled damage queen at, at the end of a turn. She's really good. She's a really good. She's a really good buffer. She's a really good debuffer. She gets rid of, you know, skills. She delays. And she cheeking um uh what was the other thing I was gonna say? Uh this. This she helps you survive, right? She helps you survive because she gives you the, the earth attack uh the damage down. So yeah. Yeah, it, it, I would I would I would anti-tix this character if I don't have this character is like she is one of the full auto queens for uh she's what's this element called wind for wind she's really good for fall auto. she's also good for um high level stuff like high level fall auto so like like fall normal well fall high level fall high level full auto she can be using that stuff too she's a freaking good character good character mm -hmm. yeah yeah Lich is, and she's very cute she's a very cute character um, Vampy. Vampy is the other big one. Vampy. <laughs> what do we have here right off the bat? Remove one buff. So if you're using Vampy and Lich together, you're getting double the spell every turn. <laughs> hey, that's kind of crazy. Because she auto activates this crap with, uh, what is it? When she has like the droplets or whatever, uh, she auto activates this. So she does that like every turn. And this thing drains. So that's another creaking delay. So these two plus like Mana Diver MC. You're draining like crazy. It, it's insane. Um, I think this character can also work with uh, Mercy Alago. She, I think she has one of those like like special dr drains that works with that bow. If you had it for some reason. Um, this this is massive, massive buffs to your entire party. It's just insane. She just helps you do a ton of damage she has this crap which is the same as like you know shalim and some medusa before they can't attack plus these debuffs this is just freaking good this is good because you can bypass stuff in like Sieg as well where you can just throw this move out and you just get an extra turn like <laughs> this character is freaking crazy this this character is so freaking good a permanent dispel cancel she gets also by the way i don't know how i skipped over this when she does this like every turn she just redoes her assassin so when she has assassin with all these buffs it's just like <laughs> she's so dumb she does so she, she's so good she's so good she was she was one of the big she was probably the queen of guild war full auto like her and lich together are a match made in heaven but like her in particular is incredibly strong like vampy is really cheeking good really cheeking good um yeah yeah vampy vampy and lich definitely two of the highest um if i had to say which one would i get over which <sighs> mm, i might actually say considering considering vampy or considering there's probably not a win guild war before summer's over and vampy is yukata 
and Bambi will probably just you will more than likely want to spark somewhere in summer as opposed to somewhere in Halloween Bambi might actually be better to wait on during the summer and try and pick her up either off of one of those trash banners or just hope you get lucky um like vampy is essentially what i'm trying to say is vampy is probably the better character but lich is probably the harder character to get so take that as you will um yeah vampy is probably the better character but lich is probably the harder character to get based on spark timings so yeah um median no uh eustace no vein i think creepy claws may be dead question mark you may use like one creepy claw nowadays i don't think you stack those anymore um vein is okay because he does have this wind ally defense thing from backline which is pretty good um i don't know if i would any ticks this character if, if if creepy claws were still being stacked like two or three of these then maybe but he may be like the third best character to to antitix over like like under lich and uh vampy but i don't know if i would like gung-ho go for him sandolphin i've seen him like once or twice when he first came out no korwa this is summer korwa right yeah summer korwa so summer korwa summer korwa is still very good but summer korwa has fallen off a lot because summer korwa summer korwa her big thing is that she can give this to she can grand naru which is really good for wind's burst but a lot of people have just like stopped bursting in wind <laughs> honestly <laughs> so um i don't know i don't know if i would really recommend her. she is kind of good for like high some high level stuff some high level stuff not like fa zero but kind of stuff like like proud stuff or like challenge stuff like proud proud plus that type of thing she can be useful for because she can give you like a lot of defense um that can just stack right and she heals on ogi so yeah this character is like okay but i think she's falling more and more out of favor by the day because people just aren't doing wind burst like they are anymore um maybe consider picking her up if you're a win main and you don't have any other options um siegfried no you all know albert no um okay that's all the characters <laughs> okay let's pop over to the summons um let's see none of these skip zeph once again uh none of these um noir i'm pretty sure is like hecate so she's subtixable so no um the, the, the two big ones here are Rose Queen, who gives the, um, she gives the Rose Passion, which I think is, like, supplemental, which is good for bursting, but again, just like I said with Korwa, when burst is kind of falling out of favor, but obviously it will come back at some point, so this is probably, unironically, this summon is probably a, maybe a better investment maybe because you may at whenever burst for wind picks up again you may just be using like triple zero as your main summon or bubs as your main summon or um or even if you do use those i don't know if you would slot her in the back just for the call maybe maybe she might be good um but i would i would like ask a wind main honestly but i just feel like right now right now she is not very used so unless you're a win main i wouldn't really i wouldn't really consider it um uh summer tiamat summer tiamat gives this debuff immunity i can't even really remember what this gives when she gets upgraded but i mean this is just okay this is another one of those things where it's just like you just it, it's kind of like the summer servers thing where it's like if you're a win main you probably want this just to have it available to you but if you're not just completely ignore honestly um i doubt you will ever use that if you're not a wind main um okay wind done let's move on to light okay uh melissa bell no rosamia no strum no sarahwell i think has been used for some ogi stuff um if you are not planning to use the ogi comps for light i think he's a pass though i have used that character like once like literally once um i don't think pretty much i think he's a good he's a good like 
filler character for if you don't have like cosmos if you don't have like a lot of the grands for light i think he can help you get through content but yeah i don't know I, I think i would skip him um de la phil no charlotta no Hellmount no zeta no Hellas no now you say no um matera no even after her buff i she just doesn't get used um, Urius, Urius is pretty good, but I don't know if I'd any ticks him. Um, Urius does have this, and this activates at the end when, um, the party landed five debuffs. And with this now, he kind of has the Shalim thing, where this is zero turns, or th this becomes zero turns, but zero turns now gets used on, uh on full auto so he will always use this assuming he has 10 percent charge bar um so he'll always do three debuffs so assuming you have someone else in the party that can do two debuffs during the turn like so for example makara um who can do two debuffs or even him with makara or makara's buffs and then he can just do it himself he can activate this a lot and this is a lot of freaking damage unironically this is good um this character is like he's not like he's not like super used but he's a fun character to have he's a nice character to have in light but he's not like mandatory i don't think in in anything uh so yeah yeah he's like he's like you're a light main and you have nothing else to do and you just want to play around with a character in like full auto and somewhat in maybe like <laughs> i <laughs> i think i had him back on in my agostia party before <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he's really that good at Gostia though. Uh, I think somebody was using him for Fall Zero though, so I mean maybe. Uh, Halasina has pretty much completely gone. Lily, no. Shiva, eh, not really. Nah. Uh, he kind of does some OTK stuff, but nah, not really. Um, Mahira, Mahira is Mahira. I feel like is one of those characters that you kind of want for like. You may want for like solo stuff. If you're trying to do like high level solo stuff, you may want her. But the thing about it is she has fallen out of favor a lot. You don't really use her in um you don't really use her in Super Ultimate Bahamut. People tried to use her at the start of Hexa and then it was just like she was too slow. She she operates too slow and then people by the end of Hexa people just moved on and no one uses her in Fall Zero. So she's not good there. Um, she's just, she's, she's okay, but she's just not the best. Honestly, she's just kind of a slow character, a very slow character, um, that doesn't do like a, a, a lot. So I don't know if I would really, she's a good character to just have in your back pocket, but she's, no, not really. No. Mm -hmm. Um, Florence. Okay. This, oh, Jesus, Florence is a freaking character. She's a character. All right. Florence used to be the bane of Psy Games' existence, and now she's just gotten dropped. <laughs> she's, she's just gotten dropped. Um, she's gotten dropped for a few reasons. One, Agostia is built to counter her, so you don't use her there. She has never really been meant for super high-level stuff unless you are... Well, I, I wouldn't even say that. Unless... It's pretty much super high level stuff. So Hexa and Fall Zero, no. You can use her for Super Ultimate Bahamut if you want to do like Light Execute, but that's about it. You're not going to use her if you're actually trying to play Light in there. Um, you can use her for like Burst stuff for like, you know, Bubs or Fall or um, Belial, but that's just Burst stuff with Relic Buster. Um, she has fallen off almost completely in bar farming because Relic Buster is just way too slow. It's way too slow with, you know, Rush Googles, Race Felgers, Fire doing whatever the crap. Heck, even Earth is probably faster than, than Florence now with Relic Buster. Um, yeah, just she's way too slow for bar farming now, which was her biggest thing at the start, where she was just like amazing with that Relic Buster. It's just like, no. Um, she's too slow. And the bigger issue, <laughs> the bigger issue, us shrieking, us shrieking lazy as crap people. You have to target 
your your target with this. This cannot be full autoed. So that makes her even less desirable because you have to manually click that as opposed to just, you know, using John, Halloween, Mugen, and Nihon and full autoing all of your buttons. You know what I'm saying? Also, a lot of people that actually bar farm and do those type of burst setups on light have gotten Ura now. So, Ura, you kind of care less about this character with Ura as opposed to Relic Buster. So, she is just... This move is still extremely good. And Light Relic Buster is extremely good still for bursting. But it's just the fact that you don't really need it anymore. It's not just like, oh my god, this is just the best burst in the game anymore. Like, no. She's, she has fallen drastically out of favor. And the rest of her kit is all pretty mediocre, unironically. Um, this is good just to end this move again. <laughs> That's it. Um, it, her entire kit is built around this move and buffing someone to do a ridiculous amount of damage. That is Florence. Um, so yeah, no. Um, honestly nowadays if you're not a light main i would not i would not sub that character i don't I, or any tick that character i don't think she's worth it anymore um mary i don't even really know what she does i think she used to do something with bounty hunter question mark but i don't know if i would any ticks her for that um ilna that's pretty good and that's pretty good i like ilna ilna has seen some use in hexa and in fall zero actually um, because she does have she does have these debuffs. She has the delays. She has the dispels. Um, I think does she? I don't remember if she has a heal. I don't think she has a heal. Um, but she does have this. She does have this. She does have um, you know boost boost to uh, these the all you know all these buffs. And then the main thing with L not though is just the fact that when she's kind of like a mini Hasalia where when she gets max stacks once she's gotten max stats when people auto attack everyone just has a skill nuke then afterwards which is like a big thing for her so that in conjunction with being able to use these these things every single time she ogies makes her a decent character for full auto and for um harder content you can use her in both um so ilna i think is a very popular choice for light right now especially on the heels um going after um or coming up to light guild war i think a lot of people are looking towards this character i think this character is pretty decent um she's probably one of the better options to use for for light um for like a guild war and you know just general use honestly you can pretty much use her in all content you can use her in agostia too i have a um I have an Ura setup that uses this character as well. She's just a nice character. She's a pretty good character. Um, I think she is worth an Annie Tix, honestly. If you're if you're into light, um, she's she's pretty good. Aglavale, um, Aglavale has fallen off very heavily, but Aglavale is an extremely good character to still have because Aglavale does a ridiculous amount of skill damage, and he has a ridiculous amount of kicking buffs and debuffs um heck dudes were people people were using him in cheeking fa zero too he is good he is still good but he's one of those characters he's kind of like mahara where he's a good character to have in your back pocket but he has like a little slightly higher priority than mahara does in that situation where he gets used a little bit more than she does but it's still not a ton nowadays um light just has better options for a lot of a lot of stuff um let's see Faustiva Faustiva I wouldn't any ticks but the one thing with Faustiva is she does have um she does have this infinite love thing which will give you like attack and defense and some other stuff I think it's like double and triple attack um when you do a chain burst and this this works even when she's in the back line so you can take her for like fa zero in the back line and just have her you know just buffing you which is nice um, Moni is super creaking hot in this summer outfit, but she is not really that used. Um, she, she, yeah, she's just not really that used. Like, you, you could use her to buff you, or you could just use Halloween Mugen and kill the boss, like, faster. So, it's just like, no. She's, she's just a fun full auto. She's kind of like Urius, where she's just, like, a kind of a fun full auto character to use. Um, Zhao got completely destroyed by Mugen, so no, this character is a no. Um, I'm gonna skip Mugen for a second. Narmaya is also a no 
kind of she the only thing about her is she has like the plane damage when um when mc uh okies right which can be useful but uh, i don't think it's any ticks useful um mugen though mugen mugen i think is probably your biggest bet if you don't have this character mugen is the premier buffer for a light he has this seeking well he's one of him and nihon are the premier buffers for light right he has this move that's just ridiculous buffs he has this where he can he can stay up because the thing about it is this move is also a massive boost to his damage but he, he gains undying for this so he can literally guard with this he can guard someone like luo and just have Luo just do crazy stuff with like Makara buffs. He's just double attacking, throwing out his nukes, throwing out Makara's nukes. And then Mugen's just there the whole time just tanking for him. And Mugen can't freaking die. And every single time Mugen gets hit, he also does damage to the enemy. So even him just guarding guarding in v2 and using this move and literally doing nothing he still freaking buffs the crap out of you saves an ally from taking any damage and does six hit damage he he's just he's he's op crap he's op crap um also bonus light damage effect to light allies with a hit to max hp of 30 percent or more people will get this just off of this so yeah that mugen he he is the premier him and nihon are the premier um buffers but i would say he's the premier character still if you don't have him for an anti-ticks he is probably just the best character you can get for like he's so freaking good he is so good he's so good you can use him high level stuff too not like fa zero or probably hexa but you can still use him for like super ultimate bahamut and down you can still use him for all types of bursts in there he's amazing all right um let's go to light light summons all right um ignore your zeus uh ignore thor uh kagu summer no okay well that was quick <laughs> no uh no 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 to all those okay dark characters <laughs> okay dark characters all right uh rosetta no ilsa probably everyone's pick that doesn't have her right now um ilsa has seeking this move which is she's like the premier buffer for dark right now she's op as crap she gives this which is attack and defense down which is nice also just skill damage she gives this where you'll see her kicking imada imade imada taking going back and forth over and over again multi-attacking with with this crap um and when someone dies if someone dies so like if lich dies she comes back or if you use like um mc street king you can this this will go up right this will go up and she um she resets all her skills too when someone cheeking dies so this will go up and she she uh she can use it again <laughs> so that's what be she does triple attacks she can she has like like uh flurry she also has i always get thrown off because she just randomly has the cheeky undying <laughs> effect and I'm just like, what the heck? Why why is she still alive? Like so many times I'm just like, how the heck did my Ilsa live that? And I'm like, oh yeah, she has Shiki on dying. So yeah, yeah, that that's crazy. Um this is this is like Ilsa is really cheeking good. And Ilsa gets used in like I think every maybe not Fa Zero. I know she gets used for labor bot Fa Zero, but I don't know about actual Fa Zero, like actual uh trying to play dark in there. But I know Hexa down, she gets used in. Uh, and like pretty much everything that you use dark in, she gets used in. Uh, this is probably, like I said, this is probably the character that you're going to anti-tix if you don't have her and you're trying to get dark. Uh, yeah, Ilsa's cheeking good. Um, Kaliostro, no. Clarice, no. Anthuria, no. Magisa, um, Magisa... <sighs> I was looking at Magisa this morning because I was thinking about Magisa and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. From what I've seen, people have used Magisa, especially if you have Zosimos, because uh, her and Zosimos work together with Oblivion Chris. Um, but I don't know how good she is, really. She seems like a side grade slash like a, a filler character if you're missing some of the other stuff. Um, she doesn't seem like 
too crazy. So I don't... I would look into her. I would ask people about her. Because, you know, I'm I'm not a dark person. So I, I don't really know for Magisa. Um, but I think she does have potential. She does have potential. And I have seen her use. I just don't think she's like... Like super amazing she's kind of one of those things where it's like you don't have anything else to pick just get magisa i feel um from what i've seen at least um uh kupiton kupiton i think kupiton i've only really seen in grand order because she does like the the double ogies i think oh no she does she does the um well i guess she does have double ogie but she does the nuke she does the nuke after um, after the Ogies, which is like a ton of kicking damage. But if you're not doing Grand Order, I don't think I've really seen her for full auto a lot. So I don't I don't know if I would any ticks that character. Um, Azusa, Azusa, I have seen Azusa in stuff like Hexa. I have seen her here. I do think that with the new, with the new Fa skill key, I think you can you can kind of cut down on when she would miss stuff before because one of her main gimmicks is she does like a ridiculous amount of skill damage, but she can miss. And I think with that 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 new key, I think it either helps her not miss or she misses less, um, which can be good because a lot of her kit is in that skill damage she also can heal and i think she gives you like damage reduction or something um yeah yeah so she can she can help you with sustain but uh i don't <laughs> i don't know about her either <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i would any ticks her um to go a thick blue pot a thick blue pot um i saw people trying to use her in Super Ultimate Bahamut when she first came out, and then I have not seen her since. Um, I have not seen her since. I don't think she's very good for a lot of stuff. I don't think she beats out a lot of Dark's current options. So I think she's just a thick blue pot. Um, and she she can be a she can be a thick good blue pot for I know Aku had brought this up for like Fall Zero if you're trying to get the you know if you're at the point where you're still trying to get your um your whatchamacallits, your, uh, uh, the tidings from Fall Zero, because she is dark, so you can make your whole team dark and then get this extra blue pot by having her in the back. Um, so that, that could be potentially useful. <laughs> um, Amira, no, I wouldn't need any ticks. Meg, I do know people still use Meg for burst-related stuff. Um, don't know if she's worth an any ticks, but... I know people have used this character quite a bit when it comes to Dark Burst, but I don't know how her days may be numbered with the fact that Dark hasn't gotten units in a while. Um, she may be replaced very, very soon. Um, so I would be hesitant about any tixing her. Um, Tabina, no. Masala barely gets used, no. Fiorito, no. Uni, my baby, um, she just came out, but her kit is pretty heeking jank in my opinion um and i just don't i don't think she's worth an 86 i'm a rear rail no i don't think i would any ticks her um lady Greya, no don one no vajra no i don't think so um and then for dark summons ignore hades um sario i think Sariel is a worse Mandrake. I want to say. I think Sariel is a worse Mandrake. I could be wrong on that, but I think I think even as a dark player, you may use Earth Mandrake more for debuffs than you would Sariel. I believe so. So I don't think he's worth an anti ticks. Um Sleepyhead, I know Sleepyhead is kinda like your mandrake like darts mandrake where it has like the sub or effect i know people did use this for like akasha stuff um 
you know, for the armored effect, it's probably good in, like, guild lore and bursting stuff as well, just to make it so that you don't freaking die. Um, so this is a summon, again, that's probably in, like, the, um, it's probably in, like, the Summer Cerberus tier, where it's, like, if you, if you are a dark main and you have nothing else to pick up and you don't have this, I would get it just so I have it available to me. Um, but I don't really know how high priority Sleepyhead really is, um, either. <sighs> but I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, I, I think. Okay, I did lie. There is, there is one other thing that I need to bring up at the end for, for Earth. Of course it's Earth related. Let me go in here. Olivia. Olivia taking Valentine, Summer, Yukata, Christmas, uh, taking Halloween, you know, whatever, anniversary, uh, grand, whatever you want to call her. She is ridiculously strong for Earth right now. Now, the thing about Olivia, I will preface this by saying... Olivia is a subtixable character. She is a subtixable character. One more time for the people in the back. She is a subtixable character. And Earth does not have Earth's Dread Barrage just ended, and it does not have a Guild War on the way, almost certainly. Uh, we will probably get Dark before Earth, and we will probably get a subtix before Earth comes out. Um she is a subtixable character, but she is very good right now. This is like you have literally nothing else on this anti-tix, even including grands. You have nothing else on this anti-tix to get. Olivia can be a consideration. Because Olivia's S1, I talked about before, charge diamonds don't fill up, can't use special attacks. She can lock down enemies. She also, these are just three debuffs. These two don't hit in fall zero. Um, this move is ludicrous. She can guarantee triples to her and the character that is next behind her, which is usually came from fall zero. Just guarantee triples, which matters a lot considering that fight has guaranteed triple triggers. Um, those, her and that character also do two hits of skill damage, which can, which can go up to like five mil with double world undergrids. It's ridiculous. Um, this move is your 60, your 60, 66 hit and 99 hit killer. This is just ridiculous. She does so much damage. She also just has, at that point, she will have guaranteed triples. She'll also have like flurry from, from this, which she uses on this, plus the echo from like, uh, from Sieg Dagger. It's just, she does so many hits. She does so many hits with this and just her auto attacks. It's ridiculous. Um, She's just, she's just an insane character. She's an insane character for Earth. But again, she's a sub-tixable unit. Only go for this unit if you are super invested in Earth. You cannot wait for her on the sub -ticks, Or if you're already planning to do like, you know, Optimus Summons or something on the sub -ticks, And you just have nothing else, including Grands, to sub -ticks. This is like your final option. Just, if I don't... If I don't get her, I will literally just not get anything on the subtix. Then, okay, you can get her. But she should be your very last priority. But I, I was, you know, told that she was on the subtix. So I did need to bring her up. Because she is just so strong for Earth. And I'm the Earth guy. So, of course, I got a shiller. But, yeah. So, that, I think, for real, is the end of my, my anti-tix video. I don't think I have anything else to talk about with these characters or the summons. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go over grands um, because you can get grands at like any time. Um, but yes, the, that's a lot. <laughs> Never done one of these videos before, but it was kind of fun. But hopefully this helped you. Um, I, I think I kind of do my video a, a, a bit differently than other people do their anti videos. But... Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully this gave you some insight into what characters are actually useful per Ellie plus the summons. Um, and hopefully it helps make a decision for you. Um, if you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comment section down below. Um, and if you have questions about um, specific units for that I may not have covered as in-depth 
for like um you know ellies that i'm not as acquainted with like water or dark or wind um ask me and i will ask someone else for you i can find people that are invested in those ellies to ask for you so if you have questions i will ask for you um it's just that i don't know them off the top of my head for some of those characters um but let me know if you have questions still so as per usual thanks for watching thanks for listening um i hope this video helped and i will see you in the next one i have no idea what the next one's gonna be <laughs> i will see you in the next one so until then bye bye yeah there was no way that a uh, video this long wasn't gonna have some type of addendum so <laughs> the thing <laughs> the thing that i thought of um as i was editing was um i forgot to do my top three for each ellie so i'm gonna go back through and do that so um yeah let's let's just go through my top three so um top three for fire i know noah is one of them um medusa is probably two um medusa is probably two so what i'm gonna say is i have a list in here of course i have a notepad too i'm gonna say um one is noah then two is Medusa. Then three is probably going to be um, Nezha. I'm, I think I'm going to say Nezha. And then I'm going to have honorable mentions of Summer Belial and Summer Cerberus. Um, Summer Cerberus in parentheses if you're a fire main with nothing else to uh draw yeah so i i think i think that's what i'll do for my for my top three in fire yeah okay so let's move on to uh water um water shalim is gonna be one um i should put her number one just because shalim but <laughs> honestly unironically she might be actually number one though because she's mad useful in She's mad useful in... Yeah, unironically, yeah. I think I will put... Um, let's see, I'll put this down here. So, water, I'm going to put Shalim. Shalim... Um, what was the character? Oh, Vikala. Vikala and... Um, I think third, what I'm going to put is... I'm going to put Lucio with parentheses for Katura. If Katura, like how I talked about, if Katura has been crept by if Ka oh, well, I should just write this. If Katura has has been wait, I got to do this. If Katura has been crept by uh Pe Peilla or however you say dragon <laughs> zodiac um then Lucio if not, then Katura, I think. But I th I think she's been power crept though by that character. So I would say I would say Lucio first. Um, I don't remember if there's any. Were there any water summons? Oh, Tira. Okay, so yeah, Tira. Tira is the same as Summer Series. Cerberus. So Tira summon, uh, Summer if water main and nothing else to draw okay um uh, okay that's water now let's go to earth um earth okay earth hmm earth might be a little hard actually unironically i'm probably gonna push shalim again <laughs> i think i'm gonna put shalim 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 Do I use Ilnot or Vicala more? Hmm That's a tough one, actually. That's a very tough one. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Shalim here. I'm gonna put Shalim here. Ilnot Vicala or Ilna. Okay, Vicala and Ilna. Of course, I have to give Earth Teaking special privileges. Vicala and Ilna are gonna be tied, but I'm gonna put 
I'm going to put Vikala above Ilnot. So, Vikala, Ilnot. And I'm going to do greater than or equal to Ilnot. So, in my opinion, if you have, if you don't have either one of these, I would get Vikala. If you have, you know, obviously if you have Vikala, then uh, get Ilnot or vice versa, whatever. But, if you had to pick, I would say Vikala is probably more useful. Just because Vikala, I can use I can use Vikala in Diaspora without Ilnot, and I can use Vikala for random full autos, just giving people triple attack. And Ilnot, even though I call her a lurking legend, she has just not been used uh, recently at all. Um, and then third, third, I would put. Third, I would put, um, oh, dang, Monica's in here too, huh? Jesus. Oh, this is hard, huh? Um, okay. I, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to, I'm going to put Monica, Monica equals Kukuro. Kukuro. Oh, maybe I should have put a note for this. Vicala. Vakala, if um, let me think. Vakala, if you have to choose, if you have to choose, and then Monica, Monica over Kukuro, only, oops, only if you don't care about sand farming in Diaspora. Otherwise, pick Kukuro. Yeah, that's what I think. Because I feel like Monica, Monica can always be picked up if you ever want to do any type of Ogi comp. Whereas Kukuro is almost exclusively for Diaspora. And then below all of these, if if you if you don't care about like any of these characters, if you don't care about like any of these characters, and you don't see the use for them then summer summer uh uh mandrake if you don't have mandrake get get mandrake also another reason why vikala is above ilnot is because vikala also has this weapon that you can use whereas ilnot uh you can't so or i mean you can but you're least you're less likely to use her weapon okay um wind let's see um wind <laughs> Uh, okay, so I did say for wins that if I had to pick, Vanya is the better character over Lich, but Lich is harder to spark. So I think I'm still going to stick to that. I'm going to do, I'm going to do Lich first, and then I'm going to do Vampy. And then after, after those two, um, I would say Vayne, if you want a character character otherwise rose queen uh summer summer rose queen not normal <laughs> summer rose queen or summer tiamat if wind main okay yeah all right um light let me see uh light i already know mugen's at the shaking top mugen mugen Ill not Mugen Ill not is it Agalvale? Let me see, are there any summons for light? Oh yeah, no, you just have to you can Kaga it. So yeah <laughs> No. Mugen Mugen Ill not Aglavale. Oops. Aglavale. Special mention to special mention to Florence if you want to be completely safe as a light main um and special mention to fostiva if um fostiva if uh no other options yeah yeah and fo by fostiva i mean uh valentine's fostiva just because fostiva she gives the stuff on uh chain yeah um dark dark is ilsa top yeah yeah ilsa 
Um, let me see. Who else? Ilsa. Dang, Darks. Meg. Ilsa Meg. Ilsa Meg. Meg. Oh, Jesus. There's like three in that. So like Meg, then like Magisa equals Azusa equals Tiko. I feel like all three of those are kind of like, you can use whatever one you want to pick. <laughs> whatever you, one you want to pick. And then if Dark, uh, oops. If Dark Main, then... Sleepy head summon if no other options or want to be safe. Yeah. So that's what I think. So, yeah. So going through this one more time. Fire, Christmas Noah, Summer Medusa, Yukata Neza, Summer Belly on, um, if you need to summon, Summer Cerberus if you're a fire main with nothing else to draw, Water, um, Summer Shalim, Halloween Vicala, Summer Lucio if Katura has been crept by Paella. If not, then I think uh, Katura over Lucio, I think. Um, Tira Summer if Water main and nothing else to draw. Earth, Christmas, Shalim, Vikala is greater than or equal to Ilnot, Vikala if you have to choose. Um, Monica is greater than or equal to Kukuro. Only if you don't care about sand farming in Diaspora. If you do, otherwise pick Kukuro. Um, Summer Mandrake if you need a summon. Um, or if you just want to be safe in that Ellie. Wind, um, Halloween Lich, um, Yukata Vampy, um, Halloween Vane if you have, if, if you want to pick a character otherwise summer rose queen or summer tiamat if a wind main um light halloween mugen um holiday ill not uh valentine's aglavale special mention to florence if you want to be completely safe as light main special mention to Fostiva if no other options dark um yukata ilsa summer meg magisa equals azusa equals Tiko. um and if dark main then sleepyhead summon if no other options or want to be safe so that's my top three to five to six to whatever. Uh, it's my tops for each element. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll put this in the description too. I'll put this this notepad. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's the addendum. So <laughs> that addendum is probably like 15 minutes. <laughs> this video is going to be like freaking four hours long. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyway, uh, I think that's it for real. So, uh, bye. <laughs>